Hi, I'm Ivan from Webwash, and in this video, you will learn how to use the Role Delegation Module. The Roles and Permission system in Drupal is very powerful, but it can be tricky to configure correctly. Some permissions give a role too much privileged access, where others aren't granular enough. A good example of this is if you need to create a role to manage users and assign roles to them. If you give this new role the administer permissions permission, yes, there is a permission called administer permissions, they can then assign any role to a user and they can change the permissions across the whole site. But what if you want to control which roles can be assigned? This is where the role delegation module can help. So let's now jump into the computer and I'll show you how to use it. Let's start things off by going to the role delegation project page on drupal.org. So what I'll do is I will open up another tab and just search for Drupal role delegation. I hope I spell that right, yep. And hopefully it'll be the first result in Google. So just click on that. And if you wanna learn more about the module, just head over to drupal.org slash project slash role underscore delegation. So here is the quick 30 second overview on how to use the module. First, download it using Composer, and you can see all the way down here that it supports both Drupal 8 and Drupal 9, which is great. And then once you've installed it, it'll create these specific assign permissions for each role on your site. And all you need to do is simply assign one of these permissions to another role, and then that role will be able to assign those roles to other users. And that's about it. So this module is pretty straightforward to use. All you need to do is download it, install it, and simply assign the permissions that it creates, and that's it. So that is the quick overview on how to use the module. Let's now implement it on a proper Drupal site. So the first thing we'll need to do is go ahead and download it. So let me jump over to the terminal. And because I'm using Lando for this site, I will use Lando Composer Require Drupal slash Role Delegation. Now, of course, only use Lando in your command if you are actually using Lando. If you aren't, then simply Type in composer require Drupal slash role delegation. And here we can see that the module has been installed. Perfect. And let's jump back into our site and I will close this tab because it's no longer needed. And then let's go to extend. And if we search for role, we should see role delegation. Perfect. And let's go ahead and install the module. And now that we have the module installed, I'll go to people and roles, and I'll show you the three roles which I created. So out of the box, Drupal, if you install Drupal using the standard installation profile, will give you an administrator role, and you also get the standard authenticated user and anonymous user. But I created these three extra roles, editor, approver, and user management. And so, a user with this user management role should be able to create user accounts and most importantly, assign roles to them. And then if we go to list, we can see two user accounts, editor, which will be our test editor account, and this user management account, which will be a test account to actually test everything out. So what I'll do is I will jump into another browser where I am logged in with this user management account. And let me just pop this browser to the right. So here on the right, I am logged in as admin. And then here on the left, I am logged in as a user, which should be able to manage user accounts and also assign roles. So now what I'll do is I will go to people and here you can straight away see that this user account can only see the people page, which is correct. And then if I come down here and I click on edit on the editor account, 
I can modify the user, but I can't assign any roles. Now, if we were to go back to this browser and I'll go to permission and I search for administer permissions and I go all the way down to user. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Now we do have this administer permissions permission. And if I was to give the user management role this permission, and then I click on save permissions. And then if I go back to this browser on the left, I can then assign all of these roles. And I can also now modify all of the site permissions, which isn't a good thing, trust me. You wanna make sure you only give the administer permissions permission to trusted users. So let's now fix it up. Let's go back all the way down to administer permissions and let's unassign it. And what I'll do is I will scroll up to role delegation and we should see these custom permissions. Okay, let's go ahead and assign the assign editor role and assign approver role to the user management role. And this means that any user with the user management role can only assign these two roles and that's it. And let's scroll all the way down and click on save permission. And let me pop that back to the right. And now if I refresh this page on the left, I should get an access denied, great. And then if I go back to people, I can no longer see the permissions tab. And then if I edit, this editor user account, I can only see the two roles which I've been assigned, which are editor and approver. And I also get a new tab up the top here where I can assign the same roles. And then if I go back to people, I can assign those roles directly to users using this bulk operation. So here you can see, I could select these two accounts and then assign them the approver role. And there you go. Both of these two accounts now have the approver role. So that is pretty much it for this module. As you can see, it's pretty easy to set up. All you need to do is download it, install it, and simply assign a bunch of permissions to a bunch of roles and that's it. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want to learn more about Drupal, then just head over to webwash.net. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.